Samuel. There are worlds in those eyes, an endless and vast ocean of blue. I love you, child, these words and only such that fail at conveying an emotion. At first, a synaptic disaster, no movement less elegant. Arms, pale and slowly dying fish gasping for water and milk. I enjoyed your jovial silence, taking refracting light and turning it to memories. Perhaps you didn't see me watching, but alas, I was there. Cheese was our first conversation, welcoming in a newer talking point, a higher level of understanding. Let me introduce you to the spoken word. Your comprehension was astounding. Thousands of questions, soon a delightful pastime. What is stressed, daddy? What is pest, daddy? What is rest, daddy? What is love? Not every question has an answer, Puff. And when you sat candidly talking to Mr. Blue, perhaps you didn't see me listening, but alas, I could hear. You, my boy, are one of many, but by far a darkest comprehension of time. Used to be empty prayers, if ever there was proof of God, it was you. I envy your mind as the blanket wrapped round and round that ever taller body. What words and journeys do you imagine in there? Tiny ones. What a response. Such a perfect answer for such a perfect boy. Level me with your smile. Why would anyone jump into my arms with such excitement? Sammy has the upper hand. Let me help you with your seatbelt. I've got it, Daddy. Let me help you brush your teeth. I can do it, Daddy. Let me help you with your bath. No thanks, Daddy. I'm a big boy now. Five years go by my hostile mind. Like reels of movie frames redacted, time goes away. In all my days, you've defined many words, ones lost on those who've never known you. A peaceful little sleeping bear, you smile when I whisper in your ear. Perhaps you didn't know this, but alas, you saved me. Happy birthday, Sam.